Hey guys, Frozen Aviox here, and I wanted to make a little tutorial for something real quick. Now, if you're like me, you love using your PlayStation 4 controller on your PC, but the Windows 10 Anniversary Update 1607 completely screwed that for you. Well, the awesome guys at Input Mapper came up with a little fix. It's so simple. I love this fix. See, I can show you real quick right now that my controller is no longer saying cannot open in exclusive mode, which is awesome. And the reason that is, is this little program. I'll put a link in the description so you can go right to here for the at Input Mapper's website. All you're going to do is click download on this. And it'll take you to the web page. You click download here. It'll download your program. And this is what you're going to get out of it. This exclusive, mo exclusive mode tool. And you want to close out of everything. Have nothing open. That can interfere with it. So no steam. No nothing like normal. And then you just, just be safe. Run this as administrator. And it'll make sure, it'll tell you, ensure that none of that is running. You press any key, so hit like enter or anything. It'll detect your Bluetooth, yeah, Bluetooth. It'll detect your controller, whether it's Bluetooth or if you have it connected wire, wired like I do. It'll detect it. It'll cycle through it. It'll make your computer recognize it. Then you just press any key to exit. Fire up good old DS for Windows or input map or anything, boom. Controller one using profile default. No error message, no nothing. I did hours and hours of searching until I finally found this tool. Like I did everything, disable uh, the networking service, which can really screw with your computer, so I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, a lot of people apparently closing Explorer.exe would fix it for them, not for me. I wasn't one of the lucky ones like that. So I had to get this program, and it just takes care of it. Every time you start up your computer, just hook in your controller, use that program, and you're good to go. I love these guys. These guys are awesome, literally. They saved me so much trouble in doing this. And now I can finally play my games that try to recognize a wireless controller along with an Xbox controller. So you don't get that double input annoyingness. Alright, that's about all I got for this video. I really hope this helps you guys. Let me know if it does. Because I fought with this forever. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.